Good day. This video is an introduction to multiples and factors. A multiple is the product of two natural numbers. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on to infinity. The word is easy to remember. We learn our multiplication tables. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 times 5 is 15, and so on. Here is a shorter way of writing it. Capital letter M, small 5 on its foot, equals curly brackets 5, point comma 10, point comma 15, point comma 20, point comma 3 dots, and close the curly brackets. The shortest way of writing the multiples of 5. A factor is a number that divides exactly into a whole number with no remainder. For example, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. They can divide into 6 without a remainder. 6 divided by 1 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. A short way of writing the factors of 6 is capital letter F, small 6 on its foot, equals curly brackets 1, point comma 2, point comma 3, point comma 6, close the curly brackets. Please see that there is no three dots here because they are the only four factors of six that we have. It does not go on. So with multiples, we put three little dots at the back. That means we go on forever. Factors, we write down the factors and then stop. Please stop the video and see if you can fill in all the multiples of these numbers, please. The multiples of two are two, four, six, and eight. The question is how many of these multiples we must write before we may stop. The rule is, when anybody looks at this pattern, they must be sure what is happening. You can't just write 2 and then 4 and then stop, because it might be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So you have to make sure that everybody understands what you are writing. In this case, you could have stopped after 3, 2, 4, 6, and then write 3 little dots. Now you finish the rest, please. Please remember, the first multiple of any number is the number himself. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, and so on. Please stop the video and check your answers. So when we write down the multiples of a number, we start with the number itself, then we write two of those numbers, then three of them, and then four of them. Usually we may stop after we've done the first three. Now let's see how we go about answering factors. Firstly, let's find the factors of 8. We write capital F, small 8. We write the equal, curly bracket, and you write down 1. 1 is always a factor of a number. So 1 times what is 8? Then we go to the other side of the page and we write an 8. Put a point comma on this side and a point comma on that side. Then we write the next number that divides into 8 which is 2, then we say 2 times what gives us 8? And that's 4. Then you see what is the next number that goes into 8, which is 4. We've already written it, and then we finished. So the factors of 8 is 1 and 8, 2 and 4. And in ascending order, it's 1, 2, 4 and 8. Let's do the factors of 12 now. The first number that divides into 12 is 1. The first factor is 1. So we write down the 1 on this side. 1 times 12 is 12, put the 12 on the other side of the page. Next number that divides into 12, the next factor is 2, I write it here. Then 2, I put the 6 on the other side, because 2 times 6 is 12. The next number that divides into 12 is 3, the next factor is 3. Write the 3 on this side, the 4 on that side, and remember your point commas in between. The next number that divides into 12 is 4, we see it on that side, then we may stop. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now please stop the video and you work out the factors of 24 and the factors of 9. Remember to start with 1 and 24 and so on. Well done. So 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6 are the factors of 24. The same with 9. The factors are 1 and 3 and 9. Remember, 1 times 9 is 9, and 3 times 3 is 9. We only write the 3 once. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. 
Let's look at a few mathematical words. You must connect to the word multiples and factors. Let's start with multiples. Here are the multiples of 8 and 12. Question asks, find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. The lowest number that is in both of these groups of multiples. Lowest common in both multiples. The answer is 24. The lowest common multiple of 8 and 12 is 24. That is the lowest number we see in both of them that are found in both the sets of multiples. Next, we use the factors of 8. We got the factors of 8. We got the factors of 12. Now they ask us, what is the highest common factor of 8 and 12? The highest factor of 8 that I also find under the factors of 12 is 4. So 4 is the highest common factor of 8 and 12. Please look at the separate video on LCM and HCF. Here we have three sets of multiples, the multiples of 6, of 12 and of 18. The lowest common multiple of 6, 12 and 18 is 36. That is the lowest multiple that is in all three of them. Now if you take the factors of 6, 12 and 18, the highest common factor of 6, 12 and 18 is 6. That is the highest factor we see in each one of them. That is common to all three. Please look on YouTube for videos explaining these words. Prime numbers, square numbers, compound numbers, odd numbers and even numbers. Prime numbers are numbers in which only one and itself can divide. Square numbers are the answers if you take a number and you times it by itself. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9. Compound numbers has more than two factors. Odd numbers and even numbers you should know. Let's answer this question on factors. It says write the factors of 56. That will give you these factors. Now see if you can answer this. The prime factors of 56 are 2 and 7. They are factors and they are prime. The compound factors of 56 are 4, 8, 14, 28 and 56 because they have more than two factors of their own. The square factors of 56 are 1 and 4. And the odd factors of 56 are 1 and 7. Please stop the video and get your head around this question. Another question they might ask you is to prime factorize 56 or just say factorize 56. Can you write 56 equals 2 to the power of 3 times 7? Please look at the video that explains prime factorize. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. You may send a message to this number to arrange a personalized online lesson in mathematics.